Hey everybody, JokerFit here with another video. This time bringing you guys another video review of the Vintage Collection Bespin Han Solo. So, very cool figure, very awesome Han Solo. Um, just right off the bat, highly recommend it um, for you guys to pick up if you are lacking a decent Han Solo figure. This is a great one, in fact. And it's actually kind of ironic that I'm reviewing this guy today because... Um, if you've not seen already, I have announced that I will be giving away the sideshow version of this same Han Solo outfit in my 300 subscriber giveaway. So I highly encourage you guys to go check out that video and enter for a chance to win it. So anyway, back to uh, the review. Enough of my pandering and advertising. Um, very awesome Han. As you can see, you can get him in some really cool poses. He has these ball hinged hips. You can get him in this kind of gunslinger pose. Um, very iconic Han Solo pose indeed. Very cool figure, very, very cool figure. First, let's go over the accessories that he comes with. Uh, of course, he comes with his iconic blaster pistol with some nice silver paint on the tip, very um, accurate to the movie. Um, he comes with these set, this uh, welder's goggles, I guess you could say, or something like that. And he comes with this welding tool, I guess. Um, Again, I think that's what these are supposed to be. I remember him using those in the movie to fix up the Falcon, so that's pretty cool that they include these. Um, very specific to this outfit, which it should be. And he can fit these goggles on his head. You just have to get, try a little bit, push a little bit, stretch out the plastic of the little band. Let's see, get these things on there. So, woo. That's, uh, so, that's cool if you want to have him displayed like he's fixing the Falcon, you know, um, that's nice of Hasbro to include that. Very, very, very excellent uh, figure. First off, let's talk about the head sculpt, which hopefully we'll want to focus. Let's see. Again, I know my camera's not the best at this. Come on. There we go. No. No, we just made it a little bit blurry. Okay, anyway. If you can tell from this distance, I think it's... Uh, clear enough. Um, excellent head sculpt. I think it's a great uh, depiction of of uh, Harrison Ford as Han Solo in The Empire Strikes Back. To bring in for comparison, here is the VOTC Han Solo, which um, let me straighten this guy's legs out so you can see the height comparison. Um, so they're about the same height, which is good since they're the same character. Um, this Han Solo uh, is a younger looking Han, obviously, because he's from the original Star Wars. And this one um, is accurate to how he looked in The Empire Strikes Back. You know, a little bit older, a little bit more rugged looking. Um, so very cool. And the obvious wardrobe differences. For the longest time, this guy was my favorite Han Solo, but I don't know. I think this guy m might have dethroned him. He is an excellent Han Solo. And he is now taking the place of this guy in the cockpit of my big Millennium Falcon. So, um, yeah, great detail on this guy. The paintwork is excellent. Um, let's see if we can zoom in. Um, let's see. Alright, um, excellent sculpting on this guy. Uh, you can see all the folds in his jacket, really nice. The paintwork is great. Um, a little bit of bleeding here on the inside. You can see it's kind of somewhat bleeding into the white. Um, you can tell more up here with, um, the blue is kind of bleeding into the skin tone, but not nothing too terrible. Nothing that like makes me want to return the figure or anything like that. Um, the articulation is pretty standard, actually above standard for Star Wars figures. Um, pretty much the standard stuff for the upper area of his body, the upper half of his body. You know, ball on the neck, and then you know, shoulders, and blah blah blah. You know, it, um, no like um, you can't like. Point, like uh, no wrist articulation that's above standard like Fordo or anything like that but it swivels um, where it really gets good is in the hips where it has these cool ball hinge hips that only a few figures in the Star Wars line have and I think that Han is a great character to include that articulation on because again you can get him in some cool gunslinger looking positions like you know he's about to shoot somebody doing what Han Solo does all that stuff so Really great figure. I know this has been kind of a shorter review, but trying to get squeeze as much energy out of the battery on this camcorder while it lasts. 
And uh, just for height comparison, here is the Bespin Leia, in case you're wondering how they look. So yeah, um, let me put the camera up. He is a considerable bit uh, taller than uh, Leia, but that is actually very accurate to the movie since Car uh, Carrie Fisher is um, supposedly a very short lady from what I've seen and what I've heard. So um, that's pretty accurate, and they look great together. You know, if you want to set up a, a Cloud City diorama or have them in your Falcon, I have these two in the cockpit of my Millennium Falcon, and they look great together. So um, highly recommended figure, excellent detail. Again, I found this guy at Walmart, um, which was crazy because that Walmart hardly has anything uh, for retail price. So the greatest hits wave he is included in that, and I definitely recommend you pick him up, even if you already have a great Han Solo. So, great figure, highly recommend him. Uh, thank you guys for watching as always, and um, again, uh, and check out my 300 subscriber contest going on now where I'll be giving away a Sideshow Collectibles version of this guy. This is Joe Gravette, signing out. Bye.